All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing another Walking Dead video leading up to the second half of the Walking Dead Season 8. In this one first, we're going to give our thoughts on some recent interviews with Walking Dead creator Robert Kirkman, where he weighed in on when we can expect to see the series end, and also um, his response to a popular fan theory that Madison from Fear the Walking Dead is Alpha. And spoiler warning, as per usual, if you guys are not cut up for the Walking Dead television series. And by the way, if you haven't seen my breakdown for the Nightmare Walking Dead trailer for the second half of the Walking Dead Season 8, it's in the channel. I posted it yesterday, and I'll have it in the end screen videos for you to click after this uh, video is uh, is finished. So definitely check that out if you haven't checked it out yet. There's all kinds of goodies in that trailer. It's a really solid trailer. One of the best trailers we've had uh, for the Walking Dead in, you know, I think years personally. I mean, really, really cool trailer. So um, the Walking Dead ending very far off according to creator, according to Robert Kirkman. Link will be in the description, comicbook.com. It says, um, quote, I definitely do have an end game, uh, but every time I mention that, websites run with that and make it sound like it's very soon. And they get uh, clickbait articles out of it. Uh, so I have to say <laughs> that even though uh, I do know what the end is and I am working toward it, it is very far off and that's not something that's going to be happening anytime soon. So there's no cause for worry. Plan on going for a good long time, but I do know exactly what I'm working toward, which is important to me. Um, so that's his quote, you know, comicbook.com, check out the article. So let's give our thoughts on this part first. So I think he's referring to the Walking Dead comic book series mainly, but also kind of in turn the TV series as well too. And I think the reason why this question was probably asked uh, is most likely because of uh, all of the controversy surrounding the Walking Dead TV series with regards to um, just everything that's been happening with it. Carl being killed off so early, uh, making people question the future for the Whispers and his comic book moments that are going to be translated to the TV series. A lot of uncertainty about the show, switching showrunners, uh, all these lawsuits coming through, uh, people suing AMC left, right, and center, even some of the people that were creatively involved with not just developing it, but even keeping it going uh, to the eighth season. Um, so you have kind of all of these different things happening with the show that really, I guess, painted a picture for a lot of people that The Walking Dead is dying off or The Walking Dead is, um, you know, in trouble. You know, that just to simplify it to there, a lot of people thinking The Walking Dead is in trouble and it may not get that many more seasons. Uh, we know it's been renewed for season nine. The Walking Dead comic book series is getting closer to the 200th uh, issue, uh, just passing uh, you know 175, which is a pretty big uh, milestone. You know, 25 issues or what have you, whatever, to the uh, actual 200th issue, which is a big one. If you guys don't know, in issue 100 of The Walking Dead, uh, Glenn was killed. So that was you know the season seven premiere was adapted from that. So uh, when you get to the hundred issues, you know you'd expect to see something big, and we're looking forward to seeing something huge uh, in issue uh, 200, even though. He's pulled out some pretty unexpected uh, character deaths as of late, uh, which the TV series has taken on as well, too, and has done very similar, uh, at least recently, uh, with Carl. Um so uh, it's good news to hear. You know, it's good news to hear from Robert Kirkman for him to come out and say, yes, you know, we're working towards an ending, but it's, you know, it's way far off. And it sounds like based on what he's saying here, at least, or the way I would read into it, is he's talking Walking Dead. You know, is he just referring to the comics? Is he referring to kind of the overall universe, I would tend to think that he probably thinks that if the comic books are going to get to this point, the TV series will probably continue on up to that point. I'm sure people at AMC have probably told him that uh, we want this series to run as long as it can. What are you looking at for long term of the comics? And, you know, with the TV series adaptation of that, you know, it's their flagship series now. You know, it's not like, you know, Breaking Bad was a huge show for AMC, but The Walking Dead is just a whole nother level. It's the biggest show they've ever had. You have a spinoff series uh, from it. You have Talking Dead, of course, which you can't forget because that that latch basically that attaches to The Walking Dead right after, and you keep a lot of those viewers around on the same network where they can run more commercials, they can do their thing. Totally makes sense. You've got Ride with Norman Reedus, 
You've got, um, you know, Fear the Fear the Walking Dead. You've got, I mean, what else? Secret History of Comics, Robert Kirkman's thing. You've got Comic Book Men, which also I would say is affected by The Walking Dead because it's such a big draw as a comic book in TV series form. Then you're trying to cross over with that into uh, Comic Book Men. So there's all these things. The network AMC, really, without The Walking Dead, right now, they would not have a whole lot in terms of a draw, I don't think, aside from The Walking Dead. If they didn't have The Walking Dead universe, The Walking Dead license, AMC would not would probably not have that much, you know, in comparison. So if the if the original series was to end, uh, you know, I would think that they will, you know, scratch and claw, do whatever they have to do to try to keep The Walking Dead on AMC as long as they can because of not just its own ratings and its own, uh, you know, fan interest, but also the... Um, all the other series affected by The Walking Dead too. All these other shows that if you turn The Walking Dead off, you know, are you going to have Talking Dead on after still? It's like, I, I don't know what the ratings would be for talking with Chris Hardwick, but, you know, where they just kind of have random guests on, that kind of deal. But I wouldn't think that they would be anywhere as good as uh, Talking Dead is. And same goes for Fear the Walking Dead. Could Fear the Walking Dead survive without The Walking Dead? I don't think so. So, um, you know, we'll see, you know, how this goes. But uh, it's good news. It's good news to hear that The Walking Dead's ending is very far off, according to Robert Kirkman. And, um, you know, that that uh, applies to the comics. But then, in turn, probably, fingers crossed, to the TV series uh, as well, too, even though it is a bit of a different animal with contracts and what have you. Um, next part is, uh, and I haven't told Charlie Adler because he'd be like, uh, glances at watch, uh, why hasn't that happened yet? Why are you changing your mind? Um, so, yeah, he's referring here mostly to the Walking Dead comic book series. Um, Charlie Adler, you know, he, of course, the artist, if you guys know the artist for the Walking Dead comic book series, he does an amazing job. He's not the only artist that they've ever had on, but, you know, they've only had a couple, so... Um, or maybe maybe a few because like helping out that kind of thing with some some others there as well too you know they're not the only ones there's other people involved with the Walking Dead comic book series but at the same time you know it sounds like he doesn't he doesn't know exactly what it is yet and he's probably he probably is bugging him about it to want to know <laughs> how much longer is he gonna have a job for that kind of thing as far as you know being the full time uh, Walking Dead uh, comic book uh, artist so I hope Charlie Adler will stay on as long as possible because he does an incredible job and uh, the thing I love most about his artwork is he's a comic book artist but yet he he is able to, you know, uh, really draw the characters in kind of a um, a different way than most comics. You know, if you look at Invincible, or you look at Marvel or DC Comics, they have very comic booky art styles. But Charlie Adler's art style for The Walking Dead is very realistic. Like, you know, it's it's comic booky at the same time, but it has a very portrait, very you know the um, the way he draws the characters and everything, very detailed. Um, you know, uh, type of art that really is, suits The Walking Dead like perfectly, you know, even better than uh, was it Tony Moore, the original uh, artist they had for The Walking Dead? I would say even probably even better than, than his artwork for this type of style. And the second part is uh, regarding uh, Madison and Alpha. So it says Kirkman, tight lipped, save for a prolonged uh, look around the room. The speaker tried another angle. Could she be Alpha? And then Kirkman, slow to answer, uh, appeared stumped. And then the quote <laughs> says, uh, uh, were they to encounter each other, he teased, Negan would probably kill her. Or maybe she'd kill Negan. I don't know. There's options. Uh, they probably never met. And she's not Alpha, Kirkman said with a laugh. But maybe I'm lying. I've done that before. I love those theories, though. <laughs> That's really funny because, you know, we called him out on lying. Like, we said, like, okay, he said this, but here's all the times when he said something and it was a lie. <laughs> you know? So, uh, it's really funny that he knows that we're going to say he's a liar, right? <laughs> He knows that he's not uh, he's not the most trustworthy source of information when it comes to The Walking Dead, even though he should be the most, you know, uh, the top authority when it comes to Walking Dead stuff. He knows that uh, because he's been a little bit disingenuous in the past before about stuff, and it makes sense that he would be because he wants us to, you know, he wants to keep us on it. He doesn't want us to feel like we know what's going to happen and anything. He's giving stuff away, you know, too much, and maybe he'll change his mind, so you don't know. Uh, we'll have to see what, it, what he does. But with regards to Madison being alpha, so Madison, the lead from um, Fear the Walking Dead, um, crossing over the possibility to her being an alpha for uh, the Walking Dead TV series and them doing a crossover the other way. It's a really cool fan theory. It sounds like he likes to hear these type of fan theories. I've done lots of videos on it explaining, you know, the whole fan theory. So we won't, we won't get too into it here. You guys already know, I'm sure. Um, but it sounds like he's pretty much saying she's not. And, you know, I mean, that would make sense uh, as well, too. They've kind of teased at it. Or they've kind of 
uh, uh, played with the idea a little bit. But if you do, here's the thing about the alpha theory, right? If you do make the fear group the whispers, which I would love to see, and I would prefer they did that if they could, um, it has ramifications for you know Fear the Walking Dead, which is its own standalone show, because then you it, it's going to restrict what you can do, and it's going to force fear into becoming a certain type of story that um, you know would be more difficult to work with than if you keep the two totally separate and uh, you know or or mostly separate, and you just have a character like Morgan crossover, which won't uh, cause the two shows to like merge or something, which would be crazy cool to see, but super hard to kind of coordinate how you would work that and how they could possibly merge in together. So it sounds like he's saying no, but he's he's lied before. So, um, you know, you can believe him if you want to. And, you know, and I mean, like, for me, you know, what I'm saying with this one, I love the theory. I think it's an amazing theory. I think it'd be so cool if they did it. I would like to see them do it. But, you know, in practice, it would be so hard to pull off between the both shows, having characters cross back and forth. You know, the one crossover with Morgan is probably as much as we most likely will get. But uh, who knows? You know, us uh, hardcore fans, we can if we like if we like the idea, we can keep our fingers crossed and hoping he's lying. But it sounds like he's he's probably not. Uh, even though it is, it, it, it would be so cool, right? <laughs> so uh, Connor says Glenn died for Maggie's storyline. If uh, Lauren Cohen leaves, um, it will all, it will all feel for nothing, or it will be for nothing, and that's very true. Um, if she doesn't resign, and I did a video on this on Saturday. Again, I'll have it in the end videos here for you guys. If you missed that one, uh, you can click it at the end of this video, and you can see um, you know what that's all about. She hasn't resigned yet, and she's got a lot of other offers for other shows. So. We'll see. You know, we'll see what happens. Again, TV series have different problems that the comic book series you don't have to worry about. So um, we'll see. I mean, I would think she'll resign with The Walking Dead. I don't think it'll be a problem. But check out that video if you want to hear more um, details on that. But yeah, if they were to kind of lose her, um, you know, especially after the death of Glenn and how much they're kind of building up her character, um, it would just be man. It would be. It would be terrible for the show it would be awful for the show i think because i think you need to have her alive now uh you can't you know there's certain characters that's like can you kill carl yeah you can kill carl you know but it's just like it just does things to the story that's like it's so hard to kind of come back from that afterwards if you if you killed off maggie something like that and you had her leave to go to another show um yeah, the, the Glenn death would feel like it was kind of for nothing, and uh, it would be really tricky to deal with. Uh, that one guy says, uh, Q&A Trev, uh, what is your favorite scene in the show's history? My personal favorite is the very first scene in the pilot. It got me hooked. Uh, I'll definitely say The Walking Dead is one of the best opening scenes in TV history. And I agree with you, man. I mean, you know, when I saw the first uh, episode at a party on Halloween... Uh, in 2010. I mean, I've been hooked to ever, ever since. You know, I was looking forward to it because I was a big fan of the comics before that, and I had read all the comics up to date before it even started. I heard it was TV series starting and wanted to get into it. And, um, you know, yeah, man, it's got had me hooked ever since. You know, my favorite series of all time. Favorite scene of, uh, of the series? You guys can leave a comment below on what your absolute favorite scene was in the entire show. Um, you know, it's really it's really hard to say. There's so many seasons, so many episodes, over 100 now. Um, which scenes like really stood out to me? You know, I've always said the scene of Rick finding out that uh, Laurie's dead. I think is one of the saddest scenes I've ever seen in any show. Uh, you know, Game of Thrones is probably the only series that could even come close to that. That was such a sad scene to see. Um, you know, stuff like uh, Rick versus Shane at the end, the last, you know, the final uh, fight between the two, amazing. Um, you know, Merle's final moments were really cool, and that scene of Daryl finding him in season three. Uh, you know, I'm just thinking like, you know, uh, No Way Out and the uh, Anderson Family Massacre is one of my all-time favorites for sure. Daryl with a bazooka in that episode was cool. Uh, you know, I mean, there's so many, man. It's hard to... And then the season seven premiere, too, because that was, like, that was the most hyped I have ever been for an episode ever. Like, I mean, ever. That was the most hype of any episode ever. So, no sanctuary. I mean, there's so many. It's hard to, like, pick, but maybe we could do a top five or top ten best scenes in The Walking Dead. You know, at least for me, it'd be subjective. You guys can leave a comment below on what your all-time favorite one is. It's really hard to pick, and I would think that over the years, they probably change a bit, too, um, because... You know, it just depends which characters survive, what happens with characters affects, you know, uh, how you view scenes prior. So, yeah, it's uh, it's really tricky to say which one's your all-time favorite. 
But those would be some of mine, maybe with the uh, Rick uh, finding out about Lori one, maybe being like my all-time favorite. I, I don't know. Or maybe No Way Out being my all-time favorite. Uh, Cindy Taylor says, I definitely wish uh, that the Carl being bit was a fake out and that it was Carl seeing his life flash before his eyes, but I know it's not. And everyone else uh, should know that because Chandler's dad ranted on social media. Chandler is on new projects, etc. Yeah, you know, especially after the trailer too, like I said. You know, I mean, you know, maybe you could like it at the beginning. You could have been like, OK, that makes sense. Now it's like, no, he's definitely dead. There's just about no way. So I'll probably stop touching on these kind of theories, or this kind of ideas. It's like, no, that's not going to happen, man. So, you know, it's crazy. It's crazy that they're doing this. But, you know, we'll have to see episode nine. It sounds like it's going to be one of the saddest episodes ever. And at least they're doing stuff. At least they're making changes and they're they're doing some big things with the series. They're having big deaths and they're surprising fans and everything. And it's not like just, you know, run of the mill. Okay, you know, certain characters are safe. Other characters die and that's it. Um, you know, uh, it's crazy, but, you know, it's what it is. Uh, Audrey uh, Tomasson says, Trav Q&A, why don't you do a video on all the most uh, remembered or most important moments so far? Examples like Bicycle Girl, The Tank, uh, Rick's horse getting eaten. I think it would be cool. Well, they don't all have to be from, like, the premiere, right, <laughs> Audrey? <laughs> um, so the thing is, is that with the with eight seasons of the show, I used to do a lot more top five, top tens where we went over like you know these are the best moments or these are the best episodes or things like that it's way harder to do now because there's so many seasons and everybody has their own favorites some people you know they love certain uh, season five some people love season two some people you know it's really hard to kind of like make those recap videos because there's so many episodes to go through to actually make like a list and be like okay what are the best moments or what are the most epic or the most the saddest or the most it's it's hard to make lists like that, you know. So I do them sometimes as much as I can, recap videos and stuff like that. But it's really hard, man. You know, it's really difficult because there's just there's just so much now to go through. Uh, it's Jellyfish Day, says uh, Trav. Does Morgan have to die to cross over? Couldn't he just leave on his own? He always seems at odds with the decisions that everyone else makes anyways. And yeah, you know, I don't think it's against character for Morgan if Rick allows Negan to live and then Morgan is like, what? <laughs> I cannot handle this. So before, I was like, you know, we shouldn't be killing anybody. And, you know, peace, Morgan. Then I went into crazy mode and killed like 50 people during All Out War or, or however many it ends up being at the end by the end of the season and then you're just gonna let the the head guy leave or live you know he's gonna leave you know it, it makes sense you know that would not be out of character for Morgan to be like screw this shit I am out of here I'm done with this crap this is stupid you know you guys can't make up your minds uh you know what are you doing this is the wrong thing to do the right thing to do is kill Negan he's too dangerous to be left alive that kind of thing um and so last one will be from Punk Rocker for Life uh, 9674 says, or according to a lot of the cast, there are dark episodes coming in the second half. And yeah, you know, we can see that from the trailer. You know, there's going to be, there's going to be the stuff with, uh, you know, Carl and, uh, you know, there's going to be some sad episodes for sure. But I'm really excited for these uh, back eight episodes. It looks great. And it looks like it might be one of the best half seasons ever because remember, this is the final fight between Rick, Negan, Survivor, Savers, final battle type of half. So I think it's going to be great. And, uh, you know, for Scott Campbell to leave after this season, I think it's a good time for him to go and be like, okay, here's my work. You know, you can do your thing. Uh, because, I mean, you know, ending at the end of All Out Wars, like, could you ask for a better time to end? Like, you're leaving on top. You're leaving after doing, like, based on the comics anyway, the most epic storyline I think the comics has all the way through you're leaving like right at the end of that. So like Rick versus Negan, all the build up, everything like that, it ends and then he drops the pen and walks away, right? Is what it is. So yeah, and a lot of you guys hate him. I know that I get that, but, <laughs> but uh, it's a good time to leave if that's when he's going to leave. So, um, you know, really looking forward to it. Uh, optimistic about this half after seeing the trailer, especially looks like it's going to be great, man. And that'll be it for today's video, guys. If you liked it, leave a comment. That's what I want to say. I want to see you leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Uh, and, you know, any of these questions, comments from Robert Kirkman, do you think he's lying about the Madison thing, Alpha thing? Do you think that, uh, you know, the series will go on to issue 300 or season 15 or something like that or longer? What do you think we're going to see, guys? Uh, leave the comments. If you like this video, please thumb it up below. You can share, you can favorite. And if you're new and you want to subscribe to the channel, I would appreciate it. Check out the other videos here if you guys didn't see them this weekend. Uh, some great stuff, so you've got to check those out. And that's it for this one. See you guys again soon for another. As always, this is Trev, and I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See you soon.